Emma, as you place the ring on Sam's finger, please repeat after me. I, Emma, take you, Sam, to be my husband and partner in life. To love you in times of joy and in times of sorrow. To love you in times of joy and in times of sorrow. To care for you in times of sickness and in times of health. <laughs> To support you in your successes and in your setbacks. <laughs> and to grow and learn aside you. For all the days of my life. Sam, as you place the ring on Emma's finger, please repeat after me. I, Sam, take you, Emma. To be my wife and partner in life. To be my wife and partner in life. To love you in times of joy and in times of sorrow. To love you in times of joy and times of sorrow. To care for you in times of sickness and in times of health. To care for you in times of sickness and in times of health. To support you in your successes and in your setbacks. To support you. Aside you. To grow and learn aside you. For all the days of my life. <laughs> we will now break the glass, which is a Jewish tradition that is full of meaning and has endless interpretation. When we were talking about this, Sam and Emma connected in particular to two of the interpretations. The first is that the shattering of the glass reminds us of the fragility of relationships and that there are, mo there are moments in which our relationships require extra care and attention and gentleness. The second interpretation is that even in moments of great happiness, there is still suffering in the world. And it is part of our responsibility as individuals, a couple, and the community to relieve some of that suffering. To me, the shattering of the glass is a reminder that life is unpredictable. For that very reason, we should revel in joy and celebration whenever we can and as deeply as we can. So I like to think that tonight, this is our singular shared task to be as present and joyful as we can in celebrating Emma and Sam. They will both step on a glass, a quality thing. Yeah. <laughs> And everyone is welcome to join me in cheering and clapping after they do it. Sam, Sam this is not a competition. <laughs> to announce the couple. I, Angie Shu, by the power vested in me on this one day by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, now pronounce Emma and Sam as husband and wife. You may now kiss one another.